Hey there, tech fans. Rick here from the ORI team with a brief overview of the UHDS-102 HDMI splitter. This product was designed to provide a very simple way for you to share a single media source over HDMI between two monitors up to 30 feet apart at a full 4K ultra high definition resolution. As part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you everything that comes with the kit. I'll spend a few minutes talking about specifications. I'll do some close-ups of the product to give you a real good understanding of the indicator switches and connections that are available on the product. Then finally, I'll come back and actually install the product here just to show you how simple it is once you get it home to connect to your own gear. Now let's get started with the unboxing. So when you pop open the box, again, it's a very simple product. There are really three things inside. You'll see the unit itself, a power supply, which is a five volt DC power supply. You'll plug this side into the wall. That end gets plugged into the back of the unit and that's all the power you need to run the product. We also include a very detailed instruction manual that has a lot of good information in there about how to connect this up when you get it home. It's got specifications in there about the wide variety of audio and video standards we support. There's warranty information that explains what you can do if you have a problem with the product. And there's also contact information in there in case you have questions beyond what this video is going to explain. So hang on to that, read through it. It'll give you all the information you need to understand how to use the unit properly. Now the unit itself is really small and compact and it's enclosed in a complete metal enclosure and that's important for two reasons. Number one, it's going to give you durability. It's going to last a long time. And second, that metal enclosure keeps stray signals from getting in there and interfering with that video that you're broadcasting to those two monitors. So because it's a metal cabinet, it's going to be shielded against that external interference and give you crystal clear pictures to both of those monitors, again at a 4K ultra high definition uh, resolution, which is really important. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing. Now I'm going to spend a minute or two talking about the specifications of what you can expect this unit to do for you. Then we'll take a closer look at the product. So stay tuned and we'll get into that. Several key features the UHDS-102 provides include the ability to split a full HDMI signal between two monitors. That signal can be spread over 30 meters of distance between those monitors. The splitter provides support for a full HD signal, internal conditioning of that signal to ensure you get the clearest picture possible, and finally, a full metal enclosure to reduce interference from outside signal sources. Now we'll take a closer look at the parts that come with the kit, which include a splitter and the power supply. The power supply is a standard 5 volt DC power supply. It's very simple to use. Plug this end into the wall. This connector gets plugged into the back and you're all set. On the front panel of the splitter, you've got a series of LEDs running left to right that indicate good power, good input, connection to the output monitor one and connection output monitor two. When you first connect this up, the power indicator will test to make sure that you've got a valid 5 volt DC power supply and it's working fine and that will light up. On the back, there are connections for the input and two monitor outputs. The input connection would come from your media device. So if it's your DVD player or your cable box, once you plug that in, the unit tests to make sure that HDMI connection is valid and secure, and it actually lights up. So once that lights up, you know you have a great HDMI connection from the device. These two indicate connections to your monitors. So when you connect up your first monitor here, again, that HDMI connection is tested from the unit. When it assesses that that connection is good and valid, it'll light up. Same thing will happen on output two. And I'll show you those connections in a minute. The EDID switch over here has to do with the different timing standards on HDMI. It also has to do with security, and you really don't have to worry about figuring out which one of these works because you can just flip between them. So I would leave it on standard to start with, and if it works fine, just leave it alone. If you're having issues where the picture's not quite right, you can flip that switch. I would recommend powering it down, powering it back up by simply unplugging the connection on the back and plugging it back in, and that should solve your problems for you. Most companies don't give you that switch, so you're stuck from the factory, either one or the other, and you'll find that some of those won't work with your components. On the back of the unit, here are connections for power, again DC 5 volts. This is your HDMI in, that comes from the components of your DVD player or your cable box. That's your first monitor connection and that's your second monitor connection. My recommendation is always to make these connections first, then power up the unit. That way you've got these connected firmly and you're not getting any kind of spikes from plugging them in while the unit's up. But you can do it either way, but again the recommendation is to make sure these are all plugged in and then power up the unit. And that's pretty much it. It's a very simple device to use. It does a really nice job of splitting a standard HDMI signal between two different monitors or widescreen displays. Now I'll show you just how easy it is to connect up the UHDS-102 two-way splitter. Essentially what you've got is an HDMI splitter that'll take one input 
and output it to two different displays at the same time. Now currently I've got a media player over there plugged into this display. You can see that I've got content on the screen. All I'll do is disconnect the HDMI cable from the back of the first display, and again that's coming from the media player, and I'll plug that to the HDMI in. That's my source. Then I'll take a short HDMI cable and connect it up from that monitor to the splitter. And I'll use HDMI out one. I can use either one, but I'll use the first position because that's my main screen. Now nothing's happening because it's not powered up. Next thing you'll do is power up the unit. Now when I power up the unit, watch two things. You'll see the power indicator come on immediately. You'll notice the HDMI in and the HDMI out one will both light up, but they take a couple of seconds to do that, and that's because the unit itself is smart enough to check the HDMI signal to make sure that it's solid and it's strong, and also to make sure it's got a decent display behind it. So I'll plug it in. You'll see the power indicator come on right away. These two will power up in a second. You'll see them both come on once it's verified the signal is strong, and it'll display it. Now what I'll do for the second display is actually connect up another HDMI cable to this one and I'll connect that up to HDMI output 2. The same thing will happen if you notice the light is out in the front right now, the LED is not lit. The minute I connect it up, it takes a couple of seconds for it to actually determine that it's got a good monitor connected to that second port and it'll display it on the second port as well. And that's pretty much it. The nice thing again is it's a small compact unit. It's made in a totally metal enclosure which means it's going to be durable. It's going to last an awful long time for you and it couldn't be simpler to use. So stay tuned and I'll give you some final thoughts on the product. We hope this overview has been helpful in understanding how the UHDS-102 High Definition Splitter can help you with your home or professional media needs. If you have any questions or we've missed anything, please visit our website and check our FAQ or contact us through the Contact Us link on the website. We'll be happy to get back to you very quickly. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon.